Welcome to the Geotol Applications and Tolerance Stacks training program. And since this program is going to be an advanced program, we would expect that you would know this kind of information. So you might want to have a copy of this available. Now for this program, we're going to be using this book here, the uh, Geotol Applications and Stacks book. And the uh, page numbers in this book will also match the slide numbers uh, when we do our program here. The training program is broken down into two sections here. The tolerance stacks, which is units 1 through 6, and the design applications, 7 through 17. Now starting with the tolerance stacks, uh, we go into some simple ones here with just plus minus stacks. And that's just going to be simple parts that have just plus minus sizes and also locating some surfaces with plus or minus. Then after going through the plus minus stacks, you'll be looking at the profile detail stacks and also the profile assembly stacks. Profile detail will be on individual parts that we'll be looking at, and then profile looks at the assembly. And we have uh, other uh, stacks that we're going to be going through, and that would be the uh, boundary uh, detail stacks. That's where we're going to be axial stacks, boundary assembly stacks. And then the culmination of all of this here is going to be the orientation stacks. And I think you'll find the orientation stacks good because that's when we start doing uh, tilting of uh, surfaces. And then it goes on to design applications. Now design applications, uh, we start with just a basic introduction, just a review, and then we start going to some simpler parts in here. Then we start going to more complex assemblies, and uh, we have a variety of parts. They, uh, they range from uh, individual sheet metal. We have some weldments. Um, I have a sheet metal assembly, and like Scott said, the details. Uh, we have some uh, machinings. This here is a casting and machining. We have a, uh, a grommet, uh, a uh, optic connector where we have a series of fiber optic cables that have to line up, some complex uh, alignment requirements that you'd have to do stacks, linear stacks, axial stacks on. One of our final uh, projects that we have is this mixer assembly, and this is a, a number of round machine parts that you'll have to be tolerancing. And also it has a few tolerance stacks at the end, some requirements that you have to make sure you hold. And it kind of brings the whole class together, the applications and the uh, tolerance stack. -up. So what the way we recommend doing it is, is do a little bit of stacks and then go and do an application. Then do some stacks and then do some applications. <laughs> Now some of the applications will have some stacks in them also, and they do have prerequisites there. So you might run into uh, one of the stack section in the applications part where it requires you either do a prereq of units one through three for the linear stacks, one through five for the boundary stacks, or one through six for orientation stacks. And the projects are going to build, and that's the way we designed the program that one builds on top of the other and other. And the whole idea is to make you a better designer, a better engineer, better manufacturing, to understand the principles of how geometric tolerancing works. And we're also going to show you how to verify some of the parts. Uh, we have some inspection equipment here. We're going to talk about verification as we go through it. And we encourage you that when we go through the video, we'll give you places to pause. So uh, we uh, had a really exciting time putting all this together. You can see all of our toys. These are some of the projects that you're going to be working on all the way through. And uh, I hope that uh, you have as much uh, fun uh, working the projects as we have much uh, fun putting them all together. So we wish you good luck. Yeah, good luck. For more info and sample video clips, on the Applications and Tolerance Stacks online training, see us on the web at geotal.com.